Well, what's up everybody? Back here on SnowRunner today. I thought I'd do something uh, just a little bit different here at the very start of this video, and let's talk about mods. Uh, it, <laughs> it Sometimes things go pretty smoothly and sometimes things don't. That's just the way it goes. But anyway, so <laughs> I finally got the mods thing figured out. Alright, so what happened was, and this is, you know, probably not going to happen to most people, but, you know, it happened to me, of course. So what happened was, in order to subscribe to mods for SnowRunner, you have to go to mods.io. So that's M O D S dot I O. And there you click on, well, you have to sign up first and all that stuff. And you put in your email and create a password and all that good stuff. But then you have to go find SnowRunner and you have to look for the mods there. Now, I'm not going to show that part of it because it's fairly simple. Just, you know, go sign up there and then type in SnowRunner to search for that game and it pulls it right up and you, you'll see. But anyway, so what happened was though, it was I had signed in with one email on the mods.io account and then when I got here in the game and I clicked on mods, it asked me to sign in and for some reason I guess I used a different email account. Uh, but anyway, um, so it... Uh, it, it, it wouldn't let me see the mods that I had subscribed to over on the mods.io page, uh, web page. Anyway, got all that straightened out. So once you get all that correct, you know, you've gone over to mods.io, signed up, and got an account and subscribed to some mods. And then you come over here in game to the mods. And when you click on it, I believe at first, it asks you to sign in to your mods.io account. Once you do that, then you should see uh, some little spinny things, you know, it, it'll it'll show the mods you subscribe to, but then it'll start it'll it'll be spinning over here, and when it finally finishes loading, it'll look like this. And so I've just got a few in here: the Hummer H2 Elite, uh, the Chevy Duramax is really nice. Uh, the Con 39 Elite allows up to 51 inch tires. Things huge. Uh, here's another Hummer. Then this crazy horse, I didn't get to look at that last night, so let's look at that. Okay, so if you've ever watched uh, uh, videos, here, I'm going to turn this one on too. Eh, I might as well turn them all on. Well, let's go with the Elite, not the Mud Mod. mod. Um, if you've ever seen on some videos where they're in the proving grounds, and you're trying to figure out how in the world to get to there, well, when you, when you turn on your mods here, down here in the bottom you see this select map. And just click on that and you can go to either the summer or winter proving grounds. We'll go to the summer one just for fun here. Alright, so now whenever you start you see this. And what I did to get the mods in there, I had seen some videos where somebody I guess uh, was just clicking over here and spawning them in and I'm not sure how that works. It, it could be a mod or something on top of a mo uh, the mods that allows you to spawn those trucks in directly like that. But you've got plenty of money. So look, if you go in here to this Proving Grounds map, look, you got like $99 million or whatever it is. So just go down here to Truck Store. And right here at the start, you can see the, the ones that I've added in as mods. Then starting right here, I believe, is the in-game stuff. But uh, let's let's look at the uh, uh, well yeah let's tell you what let's let's do the Hummer Elite just for fun because I have not looked at this one yet and then we're gonna get busy doing uh, a a task real quick I hope <laughs> so it gives you basically tons of options with these mods uh, I don't even know what some of these things are. Let's just add something in real quick. Whoa. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so here's what I'm talking about with the tires. You got tons of options. I don't know why they don't give you a better way of looking at these things, but let's just uh, go with that one right there. So I'm just going to go way on down here to some of the mud tires. Let's see what we got as far as sizes. Uh, 
Okay, 47s, 49s, 50, there are some 51s. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about on the the um, other truck. You can go up to 51s. Those are some big wide tires. I don't really care for those too much. So I went with these on the, uh, I think it was these. these are, maybe it was maybe it was those. Anyway, it's one of these. I went with, with those. I like those better. These, now these two get really wide, but I just don't, I'm not really crazy about the tread pattern on those things. So I'm going to go with those. Uh, let's see, engageable. Uh, throws that in the back, that's pretty cool. On, or on the back there. I don't like though that they don't match the tires that's on the truck, but yeah, whatever. All right, let's get us a, a tall snorkel and frame add-ons. I don't think, yeah, okay, that's for the little, the little small roof rack and, and trunk repair stuff. Oh yeah, that's what that that is. All right, we don't need that. Okay, so let's go ahead and leave the garage, and you can see it it pops in there. And uh, these these mods are pretty powerful now. So you know, this one doesn't seem to be quite as spunky as the one I was using in that other truck. Let's get the all-wheel drive kicking in. But now this truck does look like whenever it finally gets going, it's going to be pretty fast. And so I've already, you know, been over this map a little bit, so I kind of know where to go, but we got the snorkel and the tall tires. I'm just going to bust right through this water. <laughs> will take a minute because it's deep water and moving pretty quick but all right so where I'm headed is over here to this uh, kind of a, a mud spot with some uh, different obstacle courses and things It drives a little bit funky, but it's just top heavy. You can see it should go through this mud pretty quickly, easily. Whoa! <laughs> Took a nose dive. <laughs> Alright, so that's deep. Let's see how the diff lock does. Oh yeah, it just pulls us right out of there. Or was it even on? I am in low gear, you idiot! Well, I guess you have to be in low low. Well, that sucks. Okay, whatever. Let's head over here to the rock field, check it out, if we can ever get through this mud. Well, this this is not going through the mud quite as quickly as I thought it would. With being a big raised truck and the big monster engine in there I put and the big mud tires, this, this is really kind of struggling. But, you know, this is my first kind of real check testing out of some of these mods. Uh, just just got all that figured out. Well, that's some deep mud. Just got this uh, mods thing figured out last night, which would have been uh, Monday night for me. Wow. But yeah, this this is the Proven Grounds, at least the, the summer version, if you want to come test it out. It's got a big rock feel right here. You saw all the mud. Um, it's got some pipes up here you can climb over. Uh, just a lot of cool little things you can do. And it's got some kind of little, uh, I don't know what you call those things over there. We'll go, test, we'll go check it out. Hmm. 
Well, anyway, that, those big concrete pipes are kind of fun. And here's what I was talking about. These, I don't know what these things, I guess. I'm not sure what this is. Let's test out the suspension. Alright, so it's a lot of fun stuff to do over here on the Proving Grounds. I haven't really checked this whole map out yet. I've just been kind of in this area playing around with a couple of mods last night and today. But uh, anyway, you can go check that out. Like I said, just go to the mods and once you get them added in there, just bottom right hand corner there it says uh, something about a map. And you can come in here and play around with your vehicles. but. Anyway, let's get back on to uh, something else here. Alright, so you can see I'm, I've been on Michigan quite a bit and uh, I've just about got Black River finished up. There's just a, maybe a two or three missions or something I haven't done over there and I'll get over there pretty soon and get those finished up. I've been on Smithfield Dam quite a bit. I've got all the watchtowers unlocked. I've got all the upgrades found. And I went over to Drummond Island real quick just to kind of look around. But I came back over here because on Drummond Island, that's a kind of a tough one because there is no uh, fuel station. There is no garage. So you kind of have to be careful with what you're doing there. You'll get in uh, trouble pretty quickly as far as like... Uh, you know, running out of fuel, or if you get damaged, or roll your vehicle over, or something like that, you can't recover it, I don't think. It may take you back to Smithfield Dam, probably is what goes on. But you can see in the bottom there, it's got a little hash over the garage symbol, whereas at Smithfield Dam, it says garage open. Of course, garage open there, but there isn't one on Drummond Island. And of course, I haven't been to Island Lake yet. I'm just trying to finish up some of this stuff here. And if we go back, let me see... Yeah, okay, so here we go. So I'm up to rank 7 now, uh, working my way up just a little bit slowly. Uh, you can see I'm 43% on Michigan. <clears throat> and um, all the vehicles are found uh, on Michigan. And of the watchtowers, uh, I got, uh, what's that, 6, uh, yes, 8, no, 8 more, 8 more to go. So uh, there's that. And upgrades I've got uh, about four more to go there which will be on the probably the island lake there may be one on the Drummond Island I didn't get to but anyway we're getting there we're getting there I got the uh, p16 uh, that thing is pretty awesome it goes just about anywhere but you got to watch it uh, it's you know it's a big old wide tall vehicle so the problem, the main thing I've run into is you can't really get going too fast into big mud holes because the front end will sink and pound the front end on something, a rock or hard ground or something, or damage your engine. So just be aware of that. But uh, the the diff locks always own. Um, but this thing will go just by anywhere. All right, so let's look and see what we got as far as uh, missions and tasks and stuff. Um, let's see. You know what I think I want to do? Where is my Chevy truck at? I think it's right there. Yeah, okay, there it is. I think I want to go over here and find this antenna tower. Let's do that today. That looks like fun. But I'm going to switch to, uh-oh. I'm going to switch to this truck. Out of fuel. So that's why I bought that little fuel trailer so we can know where to uh, or have a way to fuel up oh, this wrong button. There we go. All right, let's see here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's gonna take us a minute to get over there. Uh, actually, I think what I want to do. Yeah, let's go back across the dam. All the way up to, I think it's going to be somewhere right in there. Oh, just a little bit past there. We'll go right there and we'll come across this way. And then up to there. That's not really no good way to get there. We're going to go all the way down here and then around. All right, well, that, that shouldn't take us too long. It, it looks like a long way, but uh, it doesn't really take that long. now finally all right so I was uh, just for fun I looked the other night on uh, steam to see how many hours I had put into mud runner because you know I got in spin tires when it first came out and on steam uh, whenever mud runner came out because I had owned already uh, spin tires I got mud runner for gosh I don't know like $13 or something ridiculously low something like that and uh, I was just, you know, Mud Runner was fine. Um, I liked it a little better than Spin Tires. Some of the vehicles and stuff were, you know, better. But um, I just, I don't know, for some reason, I just didn't play it that much. And I got to looking, and out of the, I don't know, what, two, three years that Mud Runner has been out, I've only played it 18 hours. And I looked on Snow Runner. Uh, to see how many hours I put into it because I knew it was, you know, a, a pretty good amount because uh, I was playing it, you know, I play pretty much every day. I've already put in, not counting last night, I had looked today, but uh, the other night when I looked, I was already at 25 hours on uh, 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 spin, or, uh, Snow Runner, so... Yeah, I've, I've definitely put more time on this game than I ever did in Mud Runner. It's crazy. So I guess pulling this little trailer full of fuel doesn't really bother the uh, truck's fuel mileage all that much. It doesn't look like it's, you know, any major um, factor I guess I'm trying to be careful going down here I don't want to bust up my truck too much I've already run over a rock and messed up my suspension in one of my tires <laughs> and what's crazy is uh, if you look here on the uh, show damage uh, okay, it got the back wheel, the back left wheel. See, once it gets to uh, under, well, once it gets to zero, you know, 44 out of 50, if I have 44 more damage on that, the tire will be flat, and um, it'll just be driving around on a flat tire. <laughs> Oops, went the wrong way. The road is over that way somewhere. Can I get through here though? I think I can. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you go on the road or not. As long as you find some good ground. This isn't too bad. Get back on track right here. I think this is actually better than going the other way. I'd rather drive on rocks and through that mud you gotta use the winch and stuff on anyway. And 
it's starting to get dark already. I don't like driving at 9 8. I'll usually switch uh, back to 6 a.m. I just don't care for driving in the night on, on this game. Always found that frustrating in uh, Mud Runner when it would get dark. It's hard to see. off-road through the river again. Alright, I tell you what, this is a good a uh, good point to switch the time. There we go. Yeah, I really wish that there was a way, um, you know, like in Farming Simulator or something, just a way to say, okay, I want the time to be one-to-one, -one, you know, real time. Uh, because if you look, if you, you know, look close, if you count to about three, It'll, it's every minute, so about every three seconds or so is a minute, which is, in my opinion, way too fast. I wish there was a way to adjust that. Because like me, I don't like driving at night, so I'd much rather, you know, have the days last longer. And yeah, sure, you can, you know, go in there and speed time up or whatever, but it just, I don't know, it's just un kind of annoying. Maybe somebody will come out with a mod for it. And I don't like how these tree branches hold you up either. But, you know, after spending all this time on this game, uh, I'm, i got to say I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I was uh, a little bit worried whenever I first, um, you know, purchased the game that I was maybe not going to play it as much and whatever. Uh, I watched a lot of videos, uh, folks on YouTube that have put out a lot of videos and stuff, just kind of saying, okay, you know, can I realistically see myself playing this game for you know, longer than what I did in Mud Runner, and I decided that I'm just going to go for it and see what happens, and, you know, I think I'm going to like it. So, yeah, I started playing it, and right off the bat, I was really impressed with the graphics, and, um, let's see which way I got to go here. Uh, just impress, impressed with the graphics. Um, I like th all the vehicles that are, are available at the start. Um, let's see, I think it was Mud Runner where you had a few vehicles at the start and then they added some uh, vehicles later like uh, I think some of the American trucks maybe they added later. And I like the fact that right off the bat you got this uh, Chevrolet old school truck you got a GMC, uh, Internationals, Western Stars, Hummers, a lot of these uh, name brand type vehicles, not just Russian stuff. A lot of the name brand vehicles right off the bat, you don't have to wait for a, a DLC or, you know, mods or something like that. So that's, that's really good too. Uh, the other thing I like about it is... Um, the overall look of the game, you know, if you remember from Mud Tires, the, uh, the pretty much the whole game, whether it was nighttime, I mean, uh, daytime or not, uh, it was just well, actually, it's sort of like this almost, but even worse, kind of just a overcast, you know, dull, dreary day all the time, and it just kind of gave the game a really dreary, boring feel, to be honest. Maybe that's why I didn't put much time into it. Now, you know, we're still early in the day. Uh, it's still 7.30. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. And uh, But as the uh, game goes on, the time gets a little more, you know, you'll, you'll see the game brighten up some. It's You already kind of see the sun 
Oh boy. You know, you see the sun in some places uh, st starting to come through. I gotta get myself out of this jam. Some of those little spots like that, you gotta be real careful. And I wasn't paying attention. Slid off the road just a little bit. And you'll be over on your side before you know it, especially with this truck and this raised suspension with these big tires and the stuff on the roof up there. It gets, it's really top heavy. I was actually kind of fortunate there I didn't roll over. If you uh, follow me on Facebook, you probably saw a picture I posted. It was this truck right here exactly. I didn't have the fuel trailer, but I was going after an upgrade location and uh, <laughs> I got, I mean, from, you see those next rocks up there? I got from literally, I was literally right here, and that was my upgrade location, and I rolled the truck over. I was so mad. <laughs> I, I mean, I could just about, I was just about there. And I hit a soft spot, kind of like that almost, but it the front tire sunk into the mud, and it just rolled me right over. Oh, I was so mad. And it was a long way from the garage to that spot, so I had to drive another truck over there. Or maybe, I, I can't remember now, I may have just reset this truck, but whatever it was, I had to drive all the way back over there. And that's what's frustrating, is it's so far, these maps are big, and it's so far from one end to the other, and if you screw up and, and you know roll your truck over or you know run out of fuel or something, you're just you're in a jam. You've either gotta send another vehicle to rescue or you just gotta start over. And that really sucks. Alright, let me check the map, make sure I'm still on track here. Alright, we're doing good. I'm just trying to go fairly slow, plus this fuel trailer is holding me up. But I do like the the environment. Uh, I was, you know, talking about how dreary it was and all that, and it still hasn't gotten <laughs> much brighter. But um, the game has dynamic weather, and uh, while I'm thinking about that, I better fuel up. Um, so it uh, it'll it'll rain. Uh, in fact, that may be what's going to happen here in just a little bit. It may start raining. Yeah, sometimes it'll be sunshine though, and sometimes it'll rain. Sometimes it'll just be sunshine and no rain or whatever, but it's uh I like the weather on this, it's nice. And like I said, I'm I'm really trying to finish up Michigan first before I move on to Alaska. I did go over there and unlock a few things, some watchtowers and stuff, just to kinda see what it was like in the snow. And that's going to be a real challenge, I think, more so than the mud. Yep, here comes the rain. <clears throat> Wow, so this is taking longer than I thought. Uh, i tell you what, I really want to finish up this mission, mission, so from this point forward, I'm going to time lapse just a little bit so we can get to the spot and get the mission started, and then I'll come back uh, live whenever uh, I've reached it and we're ready to start the mission. So we'll catch you later.
right, so I finally made it over here. <laughs> wow, that was some thick mud in through there. I had to use the winch several times, as you probably saw. All right, um, let's do the start tracking. All right, so we got to find the antenna tower. Let me look here. All right, so it looks like it's right there. So that's where we're going. And we got to go back through all that sloppy mess all the way down here around and then up to there I believe is going to be the best bet so let me just mark me a few waypoints in here so I know where to go don't want to be taking a wrong turn anywhere yeah, see I don't think I want to go up that way Again, I hope I don't get any kind of copyright strikes or anything on this music that's in game. I thought I had turned all that off, but we'll just try to get past that pretty quickly. And here we go again, back through the sloppy mess. I'm trying to stay out of these ruts so I can go faster and not get stuck. go ahead and fuel up while I'm thinking about it. We got plenty of fuel in the tank back there, so might as well use it. Oh boy. I should have went left. This is a pretty nice little truck. I like this as a scout vehicle. That uh, that con Jeep thing is really nice too. It, it'll go just about anywhere. I found though that it doesn't like going through rivers or lakes. Uh, <laughs> when, it, when it starts to get over the tires a little bit, eh, it really doesn't like it too much. I wonder if I can go this way and not get stuck. Oh yeah, that's much better. This is where I gotta go anyway. Worked out good. Uh-oh. Just get out of the mud, get out of the mud. Yeah, now the sun's out. You can see it's pretty, pretty nice and bright here on the Snow Runner. I like that. Versus while I was talking about the uh, old Mud Runner, the the dreary overcast days all the time. It's kind of made for a, a bit of a dull. Oh boy, I'm really sinking. Look at that. Boy, I'm well. It doesn't look like it, but I'm I'm pretty buried right there. <laughs> That's deep.
Looks like I gotta go this way. Yep, around that way. Hmm. Again, I'm just gonna try to avoid these big mud holes because it's just holding us up. And we get it. You know, it's it's muddy. Got to use the winch to get yourself out. All that stuff, but I don't want to do that. Whoa. Got in the ditch. All right, no way around this one, so we're we're diving in. Oh boy. Yeah, that got deep really, really quickly. Let me see. Is there anything I can winch to across there? Yes. Okay. Good. Yikes! That was close there. Good thing I had the snorkel on there, or we would have been drowned. Come on, let's go. Sometimes this truck, even though I've got an upgraded engine in it, sometimes it's just a little bit lacking, I think. But we made it. be in trouble here. We might be in trouble here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm afraid I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to fuel up and lose the, the trailer I think. Make sure that uh yeah okay I'm good there. See if we can get out of here. Yeah, that was thick there. That was really that's a mess. Alright, let's see if I can get my trailer out of there now. We just buries that fuel trail, look at that. And it's pulling us back in even. See, I wish there was a spool option on the, the winch. I'd like to be able to drive back out of here and then then pull the trailer back out, you know, some more, but we should be able to get it now. Get up here on this dry ground somewhat. Man, it's pulling us back in again. I don't want that. All right, we're just going to, have to lose the fuel trailer for now. I think we'll come back and rescue it later. Let's right, see if we can go unlock this tower, finish this mission, whatever. Maybe it's because of these mud tires; it just digs into the mud a lot more. I don't know. I didn't seem to have this much problem with this truck. Uh, maybe it's these tires. These are some pretty aggressive tires. Alright, we're almost there. Just about got it. I like doing these missions, but I don't like them taking all day. So <laughs> I usually get there as fast as I can, get them knocked out, and move on to something else.
but it is a lot of fun. I do, I do enjoy the uh, the kind of off-road, slow pace uh, kind of deal. It's 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 fun sometimes. Sometimes I just want to get there quickly. All right, there we go. So we got uh, eighty experience points and fourteen hundred dollars. I wish there was a way to get a, a better view. Just trying to get me a good screenshot here. All right. Anyway, so we, we found the, the uh, radio antenna tower, or whatever. Got that one finished up, and uh, I think I'm just all I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go rescue my fuel trailer back there, <laughs> and uh, then uh, we'll do something else again next time, and hopefully uh, move on to another another part of Michigan and get it knocked out. But anyway, hope you enjoyed and uh, enjoy watching the videos. A lot of fun playing this game if you haven't got it already. I would highly recommend it uh, if you're into these off-road type games. Like I said, I had been playing Mud Runner a little bit, and you know, just the repetitiveness of it kind of just got to me, and and the dreariness of the the environment and all that. But Snow Runner, I'd highly recommend. Uh, I went ahead and bought the season pass along with the game, so I paid like sixty bucks for it. But I think it's it's well worth it, and. Um, I think you will too. You may not want the season pass, but the game's a lot of fun. So hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll catch you next time on Snow Runner. Thanks for watching.